Film has the Oscars, music has the Grammys, sports the ESPYs. The rice industry has the annual Rice Experiment Station Field Day, where everyone are winners. Because the folks here at the Experiment Station and UC Davis are progressing rice varieties and advancing weed, pest, and disease control for rice. And today, for me, serves as a place mark that harvest is nearing. We still have a lot of work draining the fields, but it's really nice to get a break and seeing what exciting stuff is happening here at the Rice Experiment Station. Let's go check out the field day. Welcome in the Rice Station. You gotta enter through the gift shop, huh? Matt? How's it going, Matt? Going good, man. Matt is the plant breeding nursery manager. Matt, how's their field day shaping up? Oh, it's coming along. You guys are starting to roll in. We're gonna check out our crossing bench in here. It's gonna be a little warm and humid. Might fog up your camera. This is newly crossed seed that we've produced, new hybrids, and then we create these crossed seeds. All right, Matt, thanks a lot, man. That was a cool tour of the nursery. No problem. Hey. We'll uh, hope you have a good day and we'll check you out later. Cool, sounds good, man. Thanks awesome. a lot. No problem. Matt's a really cool guy. I see him a lot because one of our rice fields borders the rice experiment station, so it's really cool talking to him and getting to know what's going on over there. Great, disease resistant rice varieties. We like the sound of that. Yeah. Am I gonna be on rice farming TV? You're on. This is Ray Stogsdale, the nicest guy at the Rice Experiment Station. Seriously, I went to school with him, so I should know. Ray, what are you doing here? Uh, so today, I work for the university. I take care of the statewide variety trials. So the station develops new varieties, then the university tests those varieties out at eight different locations throughout the state. You got a lot of responsibility, my man. <laughs> Thank you. It's hard being such a nice guy with so much responsibility. Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> hey, have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> This is the California Rice Commission booth. They handle regulatory issues so rice farmers can do what they do best, farm rice. They're also essentially the public relations for the entire rice industry. So I would love to work with these guys for Rice Farming TV. Let's go see if we can find somebody. Hello, Matthew Slager. Tim Johnson with California Rice, I'm the CEO. Cool, hey, I'm uh, producing those videos, Rice Farming TV. I saw those yesterday, awesome videos. Oh good, I'm glad you liked them because I was hoping to somehow work with the California Rice Commission spreading the word about premium medium grain rice and also how rice farmers provide a nice habitat for waterfowl. Very cool, we couldn't be happier. In fact, we think some of the most effective communications that we have are actually growers shooting videos and talking about what they do uh, really from their point of view. It's what people are interested in uh, and uh, your stuff was great out in the field and oh, you know, cool. all the stuff in your shop with the rice farming tea, that was really, really compelling. Cool, I, I'm glad you enjoy them and I, I don't know, I look forward to working with you guys somehow right. in the future. Should be super, I think you're gonna get more of us than you care for, so. Hey, that's fine with me. <laughs> Uncle Jim, you ready for harvest? I am ready for harvest. <laughs> yeah? Hardly wait. You got your lunch packed? <laughs> no, I don't have my lunch packed. Oh. Oh no. I'm at home editing this video and just realized that I essentially took a selfie with Kent McKenzie, the director of the Rice Experiment Station, the head honcho, the man. My phone was set to photo setting rather than video setting. So I took the picture and then we started talking into the phone for two minutes when it wasn't doing anything. So now all I have is this photo and a photo from Jim Morris from the California Rice Commission who took a photo of me taking a photo with Kent McKenzie and talking into the phone. Anyway, I hope I get invited back next year. Back to the video. Joe Richter has set a very high bar, 126.9. Hey, Joe. Yeah. What's up? Hey, this is the yield contest winner. Joe, 
Congratulations, man. What's your Thank secret? You. Um, no secret. I think we were lucky to, to do the yield contest on a year that just really had great growing conditions. Awesome. Yep. 126 sacks an acre. So you're saying I can do it too? Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Thanks All for right. your time. Enjoy yep. the day. Okay. Thanks. You too. So where are you guys from? Uh, from Japan. And you made the trip out here for the Rice Experiment Station Field Day? Uh, yes, that's one of them. Cool. We are uh, interested in ICT issues in our rice farming. ITC issues? Yeah, in in information technology. technology. Nice talking with you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? You driving? Yes, sir. Awesome. How are you doing? Good. Bus to an off-site location. Let's check it out. Thank you, brother. Heading back to the experiment station, jumping back on the buses. Thank you. Where are you from? Here, Gridley. Oh, nice. What about you? Uh, one more. Yeah, one more. Sorry. Yeah, okay, I was just checking. Have a Thank great you. day. Yeah, she do the same. But, okay, heading to the trucks. We're gonna take a look at the fields that are around the Rice Experiment Station right now. Now it's time for the best part, lunch. This is Kenny Collins. We buy our rice seed from him. Excellent guy. Kenny, what's your favorite about the rice experiment station? Lunch. I think the worst thing about filming this is I'm basically the last person in line. I am the last person in line. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Hey, see you later, Matt. See you. Well, guys, rice field day is over. Awesome to see family, friends, make new friends, and of course, learn all about what's going on here at the rice experiment station. Of course, exiting through the gift shop.